In this video, I'll show you how to download and install Darktable on Linux Mint. If you're trying to download on Mac OS or on Windows, your steps will be a little bit different. You can follow the install here and download for your specific system. We don't even need to use this website though for Linux Mint because we can just use the package manager, which is what we should do. So over here in the bottom left hand corner, we can click and we can either just start, start searching software for our software manager, or we can click this icon right here. And that brings up the software manager. Uh, this is similar in Ubuntu and other versions of Linux as well. And so this is the software manager. It's sort of like the App Store or the Play Store. We can click to, for on a certain piece of software we want to download and just click Install. And that's all there is to it. We can install it. We can also search in the top right here. We can come search for Dark Table, and it'll find all the results. So there's two. Just ignore this Flat Hub one for right now, unless you know what you're doing with that. But we'll just click this top one, Dark Table and then click install. It'll prompt us for our password. Oh, it tells us everything that's gonna be installed. So these are like uh, dependencies. These are things that also need to be installed that we don't have installed yet, just sort of like libraries. We can ignore that, but go ahead and hit continue. And then it asks for our password. So we'll just put our password in here and click authenticate. And then it downloads and installs to our computer. The nice thing about this method of installing software is we don't have to download things we already have. So it only looks for the things that we're missing. And so, for example, other libraries, other parts of other programs that are already installed, we don't have to re-download that twice like we would if we were doing this on Windows. So now we can see it's finished. We can click Launch, and we'll have Darktable installed on their computer. Here we go. And this is Darktable. So uh, join me for the next tutorial. We'll be going through the basic interface and doing some uh, basic edits uh, in Darktable. Thanks for watching.